The instrumentation is a predictable mix of synthesizer, drums, electric guitar, bass and keyboard all coming together to form a sound that is about as original as a photocopy of a photocopy. This wasn't me venting on Taylor Swift's music, I swear. It's an AI that's doing that for me. I built an AI music critic that creates grumpy reviews of pop songs. In this video, I'll tell you how I did it and show you a review generated by the system. I'm also going to discuss how AI can understand music or try to do it. I'm Valerio Velardo. I'm a music AI engineer with 15 years of experience programming AI systems and a PhD in music AI. Make sure to watch till the end because I'll show how you can get your hands on the code to generate music reviews on the songs you like or hate. <laughs> First off, why did you build an AI version of Salmon Cowl that actually knows about music? Well, I'm not a great fan of pop music. When a friend asks me about the latest Ed Sheeran track, my response is pretty much the same every time. I go on a rant to explain why I think that song is rubbish. After 25 plus years of doing this, I'm exhausted. So I decided to offload this task to a machine and take some rest. How does an AI create credible music reviews? Well, to answer this question first, we need to understand how we humans judge music. Let's start with an example. When I listened to 22 by Taylor Swift for the first time, here's what hit me. It's definitely a pop tune with a bit of a dance overtone, especially with that steady four on the floor beat. It's happy, cheerful, it's moderately fast. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. It sticks to the pop structure. It features verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and a bridge. These sections all cycle through almost the same four chords over and over again. How surprising. The lead melody sung by a processed female voice keeps hitting the same note or like it's stuck on repeat forever. Plus, you have a mix of acoustic instruments and an electronic flair. And yeah, the lyrics are a take on early adulthood, a very cheesy one as such. Now, with all of this information in mind, I can come up with an informed review. And I assure you, it's not gonna be a positive review. So let's recap the process. You listen, you analyze music and lyrics, you form an opinion and then you're ready to craft a review. I've basically cloned this process to get my AI music critic up and running. It's clear how I can understand music being a musician myself, but how can an AI understand music? Well, there are deep learning models that extract information from a song. They can identify a song's genre, mood, instruments, tempo, and many other musical aspects. These systems use neural networks trained on a vast amount of music data and relative tags. For instance, to determine a song's genre, I need to train a model with a large collection of songs, each labeled with its corresponding genre, like pop, rock, or classical. For the AI critic, I concentrate on five musical features that offer a high-level description of a song, these features are genre, mood, instruments, voice, gender, and tempo. I didn't develop models from scratch for these classification tasks. Instead, I opted for an existing music processing library called Essentia. Essentia is programmed in C++, just to keep things simple, but luckily it provides Python bindings. The library has an array of algorithms for extracting musical insights. Some are based on digital signal processing, others are deep learning models. For this project, I use deep learning models that were trained on the MTG Gemendo dataset. To kick things off, I developed an abstract class named Music Analyzer. It offers an interface to analyze any piece of music. Every concrete analyzer that inherits from Music Analyzer must have an analyze method. This method processes an audio time series and outputs the results of the analysis. For example, the mood analyzer will return a list of moods detected in a song, like for example, happy, upbeat, and cheerful. 
Following that, I created a class called Music Analyzers. Yup, there's an S there. It's plural on purpose. This class holds a collection of Music Analyzer objects and features an, another analyze method. It loads a song and runs it through all the analyzers, producing a dictionary where the extracted features are the keys and their respective results are the values. While music tags play a crucial role, the lyrics are equally vital for crafting a critique. Obviously, lyrics provide the overall meaning of a song, the themes of a song. But I guess <laughs> for pop songs, we always talk about love, don't we? So a lyrics transcriber may be actually overkill. Anyways, for lyrics transcriptions, I turn to Whisper, a speech-to-text model from OpenAI. Whisper extracts lyrics from songs remarkably well, I created a Whisper rapper class called Whisper. This class comes with a transcribe method that takes the song's path, loads the audio, sends it off to OpenAI via an API call, and retrieves the lyrics. Together, Whisper and Music Analyzers equip the AI music critic with everything it needs to generate a review. But how does the AI actually write a review? Well, with most things these days, we have the very same solution. The Oracle, the OG, ChatGPT. Yes, I use GPT-4. I have a carefully crafted prompt. First, I tell ChatGPT to impersonate a grumpy classical composer who can't stand popular music and roast pop sounds. No, I'm not talking about you, Ludwig. Then I have a user prompt where I ask ChatGPT to write a critique for a song informed by the extracted musical features and the lyrics. I coded a ChatGPT class that I can use to query the OpenAI API. That's a generic ChatGPT wrapper class. So if you get the code, you can use this class to send API calls to ChatGPT for whatever project you have in mind. There's a high level class that orchestrates all the components we discussed so far, and it's called Critic. It's quite straightforward. It has a critique method that takes the path to the song to review as input. Critic uses a music analyzer's object to extract all the features. Then it transcribes the lyrics with Whisper. It prepares the prompt. Finally, it generates a critique calling the ChatGPT API. Once you install the package, there's an entry point called Music Scripts you can run to generate a critique. Go to the terminal and type poetry run music script and pass the path to the song to critique as input. Hit enter and wait for the magic to happen. It may take a little bit of time. A few minutes later. You know what's as frustrating as a pop song? Well, when you have in mind the concept for a music AI product, but you don't have the talent, the knowledge, and the understanding of music AI to actually build it. But don't worry, I have a series of music AI services that can help you with that. So I can help you with all things research, engineering, and actually strategizing your product through my music AI advisorship. And if you want to build a team or recruit music AI engineers and researchers, I also can help you with that through my music AI recruitment services. So if you're interested in learning more about my music AI services, just check the link in the description box below. Now back to the video. Here is an example review generated by the AI critic for the famous song 22 by Taylor Swift. Let's read it. Ah, the synthetic bliss of pop music with its overused cliches and simplistic themes once again graces my ears in a form that can only be described as a cacophony of noise pretending to be art. The song begins with the promise of an energetic, love-filled night that involves dressing up like hipsters and making fun of exes. This whimsical concept is already as stale as a baguette left out in the Sahara Desert. And yet, 
the song continues to batter us over the head with this overused trope. The lyrics then proceed to oscillate between feelings of being happy, free, confused and lonely, all within the span of a single chorus. It's like trying to squeeze the entire emotional spectrum of war and peace into a fortune cookie. The line, it's miserable and magical, is about as subtle as a wrecking ball crashing through a china shop. The relentless repetition of I'm feeling 22 is a call to arms for those lucky enough to be in their early 20s. Apparently, a time when anything can be sold by dancing. It's as if the song is trying to convince us that the elixir of youth and the answer to all life's problems can be found on a dance floor. The instrumentation is a predictable mix of synthesizer, drums, electric guitar, bass and keyboard all coming together to form a sound that is about as original as a photocopy of a photocopy. The song's tempo listed at 72 tries to create a sense of energy and excitement, but it ultimately feels like a hamster on a wheel. It goes fast, but it's not going anywhere. In conclusion, the song asks us to forget about our deadlines and heartbreaks and just keep dancing like we're 22. And while I can appreciate the sentiment, I'd much rather forget I ever heard this song and dance to the rhythm of my own drum. Thank you very much. How did you like the critique? Is this a good review of 22? Well, if you don't know the song, just listen to the song first and then think about it. Well, I love it. Well, definitely not the song, the review. I've tested this AI with a lot of crappy songs. Sorry, I meant pop and hip hop hits. It does a pretty solid job overall. Critics are funny, harsh and witty, yet they're not quite on the same level as what you'd expect from a seasoned music critic. Why is that? You see, music critics are super snobs and our AI can't even write a Latin quote or throw a completely out of context Theodor Adorno quote. Beyond that, this AI has a reduced understanding of music it only recognizes a few high level tags that describe different aspects of the music, like genres and moods. It also doesn't know the interaction between music and vocals. As a result, it can only come up with critiques that talk about different musical dimensions in isolation. The AI doesn't have a deeper context. For instance, it's not aware of the complexity of harmony, production, performance, and how these elements interact together to shape the song's overall character. But how can we make this AI more human? There are a couple of ways at least. First, we can extract more music information, give the AI more music knowledge. I mean, chord progressions, musical structure, or melodic lines. This solution would definitely strengthen the musical understanding of our AI and produce more nuanced critiques. However, this alone won't address how these musical elements interact with one another. For that challenge, we need a more radical solution. We need a model that grasps music in its entirety and can reason about it as a whole. I'm talking about a model capable of creating in-depth music captions trained on numerous musicological aspects at once. Such a model would understand music in context, considering harmony, melody, rhythm, production, lyrics, and instrumentation all at once. Sadly, we're not there yet. Our music AI models are not as intelligent as our text or vision models. But for those of you interested, this represents an exciting frontier in music AI research, and you should definitely explore it. I pushed the code to a public GitHub repo so you can pull it to run crazy reviews on the music of your choice. Experiment with the prompt and have a lot of fun. I linked the repo in the description below. While trashing pop music with AI is super cool, there are other music AI applications that might be a tad more fruitful, like for example, music recommendation. Watch this video to learn how I built a music recommendation engine similar to the one used at Spotify.